Thank you, Zia, for, for um, demonstrating and volunteering. We really appreciate that. And I'm just going to close the curtains a little bit because I can't see there, but you that's it. So I, I, I can't see you, so now I can see you a bit better. And appreciate it. Right close. No, that's okay. fine. It, there, was, there was a gap okay. that's um, a bit glary. Mm -hmm. And um, so, and, and thank you for letting us videotape this, and you can decide later on or something like that. Um, yeah, I still am getting it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, we'll have to create this up. Is there something blocking that? Can you just the oh, 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 yes. fold that? <laughs> it's just the right with hat. The no, the folder. Oh, no. Sorry, put your hat. <laughs> Yay, there you go. Mm -hmm. She looks pissed off. <laughs> I'm sure there's still a glare of sun somewhere else. She will find it. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Zia, for volunteering. So what is it you're ready to change today, Zia? Mm -hmm. um, I would like to change um, the feelings towards uh, my aunt. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to find the peace right. in the whole situation. Okay. So some peace around your aunt and this whole situation. Mm -hmm. and, and tell me what you'd like to find peace around this whole situation as it relates to you, Zia. Tell mm -hmm. me what we need to know. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still, even it's been a, more than a year, mm -hmm. I, I haven't found the, the harmony or the peace in the fact that, that she was able to do that. She was able to do. Uh, she was able to just the the money that, or the inherit, inherit some inheritance. Yeah, the inheritance like uh -huh. uh, from my grandfather uh -huh. to my father to actually me and my brother. Uh -huh. That she was able to lie and take them away from us. Like she, so like betrayed. Betrayed. Yeah. yeah. She took away money mm -hmm. that yeah. was meant for you, from your grandfather down to your father, yeah. and she's taken yes. it. Yes. It's um. It was very for me. It was very unexpected. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect that. Mm -hmm. Very unexpected. Because she's my only aunt. Oh. I, only no, I loved her and. Also, it's not only her, but also her husband and my cousins. They oh. they. They all same. They they say that this money didn't exist, even if I know they did. Yeah, yeah. So it's very difficult to take it. That's pretty sad, isn't it? They're, they're yeah, it's so yeah. That she's so you kind of lost your auntie, and, and you have a need to understand yeah. why she did this. So what would you want to? If she was here, mm -hmm. and you could say anything to her for uh, to what you needed to understand, what, what, what is it you'd say to her? What would you want her to know? What questions would you have to ask? What, what would you want her to know? Your need for peace? I'm not sure if I need the answers from her. What I just would like, really would like to get the peace like in me. The peace that in I'm you. not bothered by that or mm -hmm. you know I still I dream of it. Mm -hmm. You know I, I also I go I will live for a while in the town that she lives. Uh -huh. And I'm, I'm feeling very bothered by the by the idea that I will meet her in the street. Uh huh. And that you and if you were to meet her in the street, it, and it, yeah, how how would you feel? Um, I'm feeling like embarrassed and uh huh, embarrassed. Yeah. Maybe even scared. Scared. Even if I know that I'm right and she's lying, yeah. I. I'm scared, kind of. I don't want to meet her. Um, uh huh. So is it kind of off-putting scared, or is it a level of scaredness that's uh, higher than that? I'm just wondering. That's, that's being scared if if you were to meet her. Sorry, I didn't get the yes, question. that. So it's kind of like uh, off-putting scared. I don't really want to have to deal with you, scared, sort of. Or yeah. Okay, I'm just yes. getting a sense yes. of mm -hmm. that, not like scared, like I'm frightened what she's going to do to me. I'm, no, no. Um, it's like, it's, yeah, yeah, but you, you just yeah, and and uh, yeah, 
Well, um, also maybe I'm not sure if it's part of the process. It's like mm -hmm. that I didn't when it is happened. Mm. The first I I I reacted that I'm not gonna do anything about mm -hmm. it, but then uh, I s I realize I want to fight you for that. Fight. Mm -hmm. And I asked the police, like mm -hmm. I said, this is not right. Mm -hmm. There are the money mm -hmm. there not mm -hmm. now. And um, the police said, we can we can see that there is something very very suspicious, mm -hmm. but we don't have the proofs mm -hmm. because I don't have any proofs. You know, I, I didn't before. I didn't. I didn't feel. Mm -hmm. It would, would never ever come to my mind that this could happen. Yeah. So what, what would one do? You know, it's just. Yeah. So the police like closed the case and they said, "Yeah, I'm really sorry. Yeah. You know, we don't have. We need more proofs." Yeah. A and I get a sense for you. You have a need to understand sort of the sen a sense that something's been done wrong here. Uh, and you don't know what it is, but you you, you know something's not right. No. It's not, but uh -huh. um, like the police yeah. kind of gave me the feeling of satisfaction that I'm not crazy or something, you know, that yeah. uh, also like some official authority or someone else says, okay, we feel that there is something very suspicious, yeah. but I just didn't have the proof. So the police acknowledged your yes, suspicions? Yes, acknowledgement, yeah, it was mm, good. That was good. But also there's a thing that, you know, my father, he was already very careful about the money. Mm -hmm. And now I'm really feeling, feeling, feeling really bad. About your father? No, that I didn't do anything before, that oh, I didn't. You wanted, you were ashamed. That I didn't care more, like before this happened. About your father or your auntie, sorry? About my auntie, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, that, um, uh -huh. that I didn't, but I, I I didn't expect that. That's why I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. It's pretty disappointing, isn't it? She's let you down. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you didn't expect that from her. Yeah. Uh huh. And, and so, so just let the essence of your auntie. What is it you call her? Teta. Teta. Mm -hmm. Am I saying that? Teta. Mm -hmm. And and she's not really here. So this is your opportunity to say whatever it is you need to say, to express to her, and say to Teta, you, you, you know, exactly what you're feeling. Um, just get her sense there, got it? Yeah. Tell her. I, I really don't understand. How you could do this, like, to me? I saw that you loved me and I loved you and <laughs> this is like such action without heart or <laughs> Yeah, you really hurt me, huh? Yeah, you did hurt me like so much. It's like I had only you, there's like no one else in there. It's Yeah. Only you, you my auntie. You're yeah, you're to... my auntie, you're my only relative. It's like I've I felt, I saw that we had such a connection. And, and, and when you did that, I felt. And when you did that, I felt, well, the first shock, I couldn't believe that. I just couldn't. I just kind of like. Shocked as Shocked, yeah, I was shocked. I just. How could you do that? I was unable to react. I, mm. I truly don't understand just where it came from or why or mm. how could you do that? How can you take? How can you do this such a thing like to the kids of your brother? It's, it's yeah, it's like a thief, isn't it? It's like, it's sort of yeah, it's something that I thought that. It just happened somewhere else or somewhere where the hate or something, oh, I don't know if it's hate, like something is just so visible, but I couldn't see a thing. I couldn't, I didn't expect that. I didn't recognize and there were, I couldn't see the signs. You couldn't see the signs on you. Yeah, I couldn't see signs on you, like, 
I was even like complaining how hard it would be for me in Australia and there and that I'm so much short of money and, and at that time you knew, you you knew and you were, you were like, oh yeah, it's like, I'm feeling really betrayed. Betrayed, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How could you? Yeah. When you needed, when you needed help. Oh. Yeah. And also, like Radek, my brother, hmm. he really didn't do and didn't mean anything wrong to you or your family. And, and yeah, you tell her. But I don't understand. I, I truly don't understand. Yeah. And what would you want to understand and know if you could ask? Teto. Like, Teto? Like, why? What? What was the cause? Or is it me? Is it like mm. me? Who, I don't think so because I just like. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I I I want to understand how you could do that. Like how you could how I really cannot imagine that one person does this, like to other person. It's like from any reason like mm. how can a special family huh yes uh, mm. it's really it's really uh, yeah i would do anything for my brother's kids you know like i can't imagine it i just don't can't imagine <laughs> that she could do that huh yeah i i guess there must be like a huge reason mm. Anything else you'd no, like to say? Yeah. Thank you, Sue. You've done a great job. Great. I just want you to stand up mm -hmm. and walk across to the other chair and sit down. I just want to speak to Teta. Teta! Teta! Auntie Teta! You, you, you just heard your niece there. She really poured out her heart to you, Teta. She... she is very upset with you, Teta. Teta, how do you feel hearing Zia, Teta? Come on, don't care. You don't care. Uh huh. Yeah, I can see there's a distance mm -hmm. there, and and you pushed your chair back away from her, Teta. You don't care. No, not really. No. She's very distant to me. Aha. Uh because -huh. she feels this really let down by you and what's happened around what was to be her grandfather, father's money and her inheritance, Teta. And I feel that like basically the money belongs to me. Aha. Uh -huh. So you it's yours? Yeah, all of them. All like of them. her and her brother. And Radek, yeah. Oh. Um because my brother he's he committed suicide. Oh. So Tito, your brother. Yeah. Her father? Yeah. So I take it like it was his decision with certain consequences and uh, this is one of the consequences. Just he made a decision, you know, he didn't want anything, he didn't want the money. Uh -huh. Because he, 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 he killed himself, he yeah. suicided. Tete, you sound angry with him, your brother. Actually I am. Yeah, yeah. It's, suicide's not an easy thing and, and it can leave yeah, he's just covered. He just, just, you know, he just left me here alone, and mm. I'm here. And uh, my father, mm. he's unbearable. I, I cannot stand him. Mm -hmm. So I just stayed here by myself, alone, just with my father because he gave up. Ah, you also feel betrayed. Yeah, very much ah, by my brother. By your brother. Okay, Teda. Teda. Yeah, okay, I'm really sorry 
for you and, and that's the circumstance and I can see that you're kind of caught up in that betrayal yourself and, and um, it's making a lot more sense. You heard, Zia, she, this is very unexpected to her and, and, and uh, what's happened. She's also feeling loss and grief and a sense of betrayal from you with the money, but I can hear that's, you feel entitled to that. Yeah, I'm, I'm like 100% sure what I did was what I did and I'm not even move a little bit, I'm really kind of stoned. Mm. Mm. You're stone, you're not moving. No, but uh, no, I'm not willing to, mm. you know. Mm. I like suffered from him, from mm. my father, all my life. And now the money kind of belongs to me for all this suffering, what they created. Aha. Uh -huh. So for you it's a payment from you? Yes, father, yes, it is payment because my father, he always preferred sons. Uh -huh. you no, know, I was always the last one. Really? So, they belong, the money belongs to me, uh -huh. just... I can see that's yeah. true in your belief for you. Yeah. And you heard Zia there, she, she thought it might have had something to do with her, because she actually feels betrayed and rejected. She heard her, she said she feels so hurt, because um, you are her only female relative. And she, she's in Australia here, and she's low in money, her and her brother. And she had such a connection with you. You heard her. You have a connection with her, Teta? Like when you mentioned that she also feels betrayed and that she also feels alone and I'm for her the only female. Mm. Um, this is something that's like slightly, I can hear it and it's slightly uh -huh. like soften me. Uh -huh. So that part of you that's a bit softer and you can hear that. Yeah. From, and from that softer part of you, Teta, that has heard Zia there, and she's kind of wondering if it's something she's done. Or, but she's kind of almost... I oh know. Can you tell her that? Tell her the truth in this, Teta. Tell Zia from that softer place within you what's important for her to know, Teta. I'm not able to reach the soft place. It just I felt it there, but I'm not able to speak from this yeah. soft place. But I'm able to tell her. Mm -hmm. um, it's nothing about you. Nothing about you. It's nothing. It's nothing. You couldn't prevent that. Mm -hmm. You couldn't stop me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was planning it like long ahead. Mm -hmm. Long time. It's, um, it's not about you. Yeah. And and you heard she went to the police and tried to. She had some yeah, stuff. but I had everything like I had planned it for many years. I had everything, in, and I knew that like whatever she didn't have a chance. She didn't have a chance. You planned this yeah. for years. It was kind of like, you know, looking at her like little mouse trying to do something. With. Yeah, because you, you were gonna have what you were gonna have. Yeah, what you believe is your fair juice. Yeah, with the pain and suffering mm -hmm. you've experienced. Uh, thank you for uh, your truth and honesty in, in, in answering mm -hmm. this for us, Teta. Um, yeah, I appreciate that and I, I certainly hope you get what, uh, y you know, some something around that. <laughs> some, yeah, peace maybe, but who knows. Thank you, Teta, for joining us. Just stand up and walk across the other chair. Zia! <sighs> Zia! Wow! Gee, she's a bit hard, isn't she? Oh my God. Mm. Sad, isn't it? She's really set in stone about, and she's gonna, she's plans for years. There's nothing you could have done. She, and it's got nothing to do with you. This was her, she feels she's entitled to it through the pain and suffering she's experienced, and she feels betrayed from her own brother, who's your father. Mm. Yeah. How do you feel? So you're hearing Teta so kind of just stuck. Well, I really feel relieved in my body, like... Yeah, I saw that. Um, that's the biggest uh, sensation I've been having now. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, just let that relief. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't want to sit so close to her. <laughs> Fair enough. Hang on, let, hang on. Let's just push no, her away. Honey. And, 
and, and, and, and, and Zia not on. You, anything else you want to say to her there, Zia, that she, you're telling her? I'm, I'm really glad I know that mm. because now my behavior and my emotions will be different and I'm glad that mm. I will be different mm -hmm. because now I'm clear, more clear what, what was going on and uh, also I can see that I can see that I kind of part of me like hope that, it, that the relationship between us might change that you might understand or you might feel something towards me and I feel that it's such a big thing mm -hmm. around you that I'm like really, it's like, it's like a huge, it's like the whole family history is like huge. She's really carrying a load, isn't she? <laughs> she yeah, yeah load. she does, she does and mm. she also adds more, mm. you know, with these mm. actions she's... Yeah, it's very sad, isn't it? She's yeah, stuck it is sad. in that. And it's got nothing to do with you. I'm glad I th I th you feel that now, don't you? Yeah, also I realize that truly is the, there's no point of me trying to find a way towards her, you know, or... She's really shut off. She's she is. She's uh, caught up in her own sense of stuff and, and pain and suffering. And it's a very horrible Space yeah. for her. I feel sorry for her. Yeah, me too. I really feel <laughs> sad. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and I'm sorry that she can't be there in, in, in a way that you need. But you, it's kind of there's a clarity. I get a sense knowing this now. Mm -hmm. You can accept her for who she is. And Zia, if you see her walking down the street now, I'm not nervous anymore. You're not nervous anymore because. Oh, it might sound funny, but um, it's clear for me now that I don't have a chance with her. Mm. So mm. You, you've gained an understanding. Yeah, there is a clear distance mm -hmm. between us, mm -hmm. and that feels like a good. It feels as a good thing actually, mm. Mm. because before there was still from my side it was like kind of like trying to understand like this and that and. Oh, a lot of confusion from her mm -hmm. bad behavior, bad behavior that has nothing to do with you. This has been, mm -hmm. she's, you heard her, she's been planning this for years, you had no hopes. <laughs> yeah, she that makes sense now. It does make makes sense, sense. yeah. Also kind of a little bit like dignity, because before I felt much smaller, but now I'm feeling uh, older mm -hmm. and bigger. <laughs> you're feeling older, bigger, and yeah. you're connecting with your dignity, having yeah. had this conversation. And, knowing what you know now and I really imagine that is the truth there mm. that and there's nothing you can do to shape or change mm. her. yeah thank you Zia is that okay to oh uh, yeah anything else you need mm-hmm mm -hmm. oh could I you want to speak to yes <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah yeah so you might dad mm. different chair yeah. and just let dad be there thank you I have a feeling that I really failed you with the inheritance that I didn't it seems that I didn't care or And also, it, it feels like there is something like going through the generation in the matter of like also the property and money and everything. I know how your parents work so hard for that. Like they work so hard, they didn't live, they just worked. And you were always so much about money. And you never enjoyed your life because you had so many arguments with mom about the money. I have the feeling that I just lost it. <laughs> you lost. You lost. Ah, oh, you tell. Yeah, you want that. You feel like you lost the money, huh? 
Yeah, I lost. It's not the. It's not the only like the money. Mm. Money is just something that. Yeah. That well, actually is the only thing what is left. Mm -hmm. Like because there's there's nothing left. I have like. Nothing left. No, I'm just. Left.